Well, is this the future of pain relief, the end of pain pills and physical therapy and knee or hip replacements? It's a new procedure going on right here in Pittsburgh. So cutting edge, you can only get it at a handful of places, and it's still a bit controversial. But some doctors and their patients swear by it. Harris Health Editor Dr. Maria Simbra. After injuries from gymnastics and dance when she was younger, Linda Morning Starpool was having terrible knee pain. Sitting and standing and getting up and moving. And the news from her orthopedic surgeon was not encouraging. I was sent off with a prescription and basically said, here, take this, and when it gets so bad, we'll take out your knees. And that was really upsetting to me. It was such an ugly picture that was painted for my future. Traditional treatment might involve steroid injections, physical therapy, and joint replacement. But Linda wanted an alternative. When she first heard about using stem cell injections, she was very intrigued. The thought of me healing me through my own stem cells is what sold me on the procedure. Here's how it works. Doctors use a needle to extract bone marrow from the crest of the hip bone. It's then sent to a lab where it's spun down to get at the layer of stem cells, cells that have the potential to become any type of cell. The stem cells are then combined with the patient's platelets, a type of blood cell involved in healing, then it's given back to the patient, the idea being to have the stem cells turn into new tissue and improve pain and function. Via the needle, we're able to place the stem cells into the area where the tissue damage is. No procedure is pain-free, but I will tell you that um, the minor pain that was there, when you can get up and walk and you have no pain within a day after you have it, doesn't matter. Typically, this is done for wear and tear arthritis of the knees, though it can be done for the hips, shoulders, ankles, and spine. Patients usually notice improvement by three months with full benefit in one year. Doctors at Allegheny General Hospital are doing something similar. They inject stem cells that are already destined to become connective tissue, such as blood and lymph fluid, bone and cartilage. And they get relief for a significant amount of time, some people up to a year, some people two years. Is it, a reverse, is it something that has reversed the process of aging of the knee? No. Stem cells can come from blood, bone marrow, fat, and placentas. For reasons that aren't completely understood, doctors have seen that injections can dramatically decrease inflammation. It's FDA approved based on safety. However, there haven't been enough consistent studies to show how well it can work for everyone. Because of that, the ideal dose, frequency, and effects haven't yet been worked out. And there's no long-term information about how people do, at most, five years. I know that this is early on in the process. I wish I could, you know, quote, long-term data to my patients. Applying it to the whole population right now, before the evidence is there, it would be premature. Because this is such new territory, stem cell treatments can be costly, ranging from a couple hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. Most insurance carriers are not going to cover it because the cost is prohibitive. It is a costly out-of-pocket procedure, and obviously it's not for everyone because of that. For Linda, it wasn't about the money. In fact, because she believes in the treatment so much, she's going back to have the other need done. I have a grandson run with my grandson and play with him. and. How can you put a price tag on that? If I feel as good in my left knee as I do in my right, watch out dance studios. So, <laughs> I'm Dr. Maria Simber, KDKA TV News.